Hello, my name is Lembin and today I would like to use fetch with together with async and await. So let's try this. First, I will need uh, a JSON file and let's call it, uh, yeah, workshops JSON. And uh, this will contain the uh, workshop name or title. And this is like uh, ES6. And uh, let's say duration. And this is going to be one day. So this is JSON and I would like to load it. So how to do this? I will have to use the built-in method fetch and then load the workshops. Then use promise and say, this is my response. And I would like to convert the payload to JSON first. And after it is con converted, I can, uh, Go there and say uh, this is the JSON, JSON, and then print it out. So now I have it. So this is my uh, loaded asynchronously loaded content. So um, what you can also do, um, I could actually create an async function. Let's call it uh, load workshops, and this is going to be asynchronous. And there will be no input or no parameters. And now I do the uh, workshops JSON. But now, because this function is asynchronous, I can use await and say this is my response. Response.json cons payload and console log. And what would I even do is to use the structuring and say, what was it, the title, I think, and duration, duration. And use it here and say title, duration. And then I only have to call the function. So load workshops. And uh, it seems to not work because I forgot a wait here. This is also an asynchronous. So now it works. Yes, uh, yes, six is the title and one is the workshop. So we will see this. So yes, six is the title and one is the workshop. So thank you for watching and see you at Airhex Workshop at Munich Airport, conferences, projects, or at Airhex TV. So thank you and bye.